that person who called me you will never see even because you called a very innocent girl i never knew how to handle money <laughs> A very warm welcome to the channel that single story thank you guys for you have followed me you have subscribed to my channel and you have liked videos and the the viewership is increasing and wow I'm so happy about that uh, if you can see my channel is growing and this is the channel we have been doing uh, stories about uh, the 10 plus 1 questions. We have also had challenges like uh, the first time challenge, the never have I ever challenge. Uh, we have also done uh, things to do with the uh, live stream where we have made friends and uh, boosted our channel. But today I want to introduce something new. I want to introduce a new episode. Why? Because you audience, you deserve it. The rate at which you are coming and visiting my channel. You really deserve a new new thing, a new subject. We live in Nairobi and uh, we meet different people and at one given point we are called. So today I want to give somebody a chance to tell us how she was called in Nairobi. You can also tell your story through this platform. Welcome and I hope that you will enjoy it. Before we listen to the con story, last week I was hanging out with my friends and take a look at what happened. Hello there, this is Festus hanging out with Cyrus Kiyoko. Have a look at the channel That Single Story. Thank you. Guys, my name is Getty and welcome to episode 1 of the con story from that single story. This is the first episode by the way and I'm very fortunate to be among the first people to start this channel. No. <laughs> yeah, this episode. So, let me give you my story because I think some people will be crying for my on my behalf. It happened three years ago. It was 2017. And I was at my uncle's place. So my uncle led an impesa. Yeah, and you tell him I'd wait. So, so it happened that I was at my uncle's place and my uncle led an impesa. That guy was so rich, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he was rich. So in the morning, he was not going to report to his place of work. So since I was the only one at home, Nasikwa Nenda Mahali at that time, Aka Nyembe Nyembe Nimshikie, job. So, who is me? I just went. Because at least it was, Ulko na jisikia, hey, umefika Mahali ju, umepewa kazi. So, Mimi Yodei ni kamka morning, and before that, I think, he gave me instructions on what to do. Aka Nyembe, Safari Komo Pigenga na 0 to 0. So, Sijui, if he's, he's still the one who called me, because, Imagine that day, Safaricom called me, Safaricom in quotes. Yeah, like a number 020 called me. Then I received him. Okay, oh, so I went and reported to work. I think it was 8. Yeah, but I didn't have to pay for so it was 8. On reaching job, I got a transaction, so almost, I think they were almost 50. I got almost, I got to 30, then someone called me. That person who called me, you will never see Evan because you called a very innocent girl. I never knew how to handle money. <laughs> so at that I was having 18,000 in my 18,700 in my Mpesa. So this guy, I can to me a 50 bob. And he called me, hi. So we are calling you from Safaricom to meet with my 50 bob. Someone send you 50 bob and please 
we want you to refund her. So mimi nikiwa amateur, <laughs> I never knew anything. So siko anajua procedure ya reverse and at that time akuko kumefika history you can reverse money. So I followed these instructions maze and you know what pesa zote ziliko kwa mpesa niliachwa na zero like zero shilling zero bob like hata <laughs> sijui nitakwambiaje this girl in visa uko na how much kwa mpesa and i said i had 18700 that was like press I can't want to give you the procedure because you guys will start laughing at me. Si juni niko aje. Si kwenda shule. No, nilienda shule. So after kumtumia do, si kuamini that nilituma do because the second the time I checked my Mpesa balance kwa hiyo simu ya Mpesa I had zero and I was very confused because pesa ilikuwa ya wenyewe nimepewa kazi tu siku moja like one day and I missed So the first thing I did I called my dad because my dad is a cop. I was like, "Hello dad, imagine you make me imagine like I was crying and they are not reversible." First I called Safari for my Safari for my like let's call that number. They were like, "You guys are not even helping me." Like, "Mungeko mmesha fanya kitu." Then I think the guy who called me had already withdrew the money. So, nilikuwa na complain ya Safari kwa mtu hata sijuju. Unapiganga unangoja for like Two minutes ndo wazishike simu. So I, I I called no, I went to the police station first. That was the first step I took. Oh no, I called Safari Com first then went to to police station. Kufika huko kwa ku report I met a woman. That woman was so rude to me. Yaani tu unakaa tu unaibiwa do. Like ikamwambia you know these guys are very cunning. They are so cunning. So if you want to help me, please do so. And they were like this is not going to i pesa yezi rudi like isha yaenda imeenda so mimi i feared reality you know at times in life people fear reality it was like they were ready, they were ready took my money not my money my uncle's money is going to kill me tonight so i called my dad hello dad imagine nimepoteza dosa wenyewe nimepewa tu ningie kwa mpesa leo so my dad is that harsh guy eh unafanya kazi za wenyewe na ujui <laughs> Mbona ulikubali akaniambia shauri yako so mimi I thought he could help me replace the money but he did it so when my uncle came at night nikamwambia nilipoteza pesa yake sikupigwa but wale nikasirikia so <laughs> that is my cold story guys remember this is Nairobi and there is a song which goes Nairobi ni robber so hmm? karada Karada na kama uko kwa Mpesa mama ama daddy ama uncle ama wherever be keen because those guys are so cunning and they can take everything like everything from you so i hope you guys enjoyed yeah that was my story i hope it's nice bye make sure you subscribe make sure you like leave a comment and Hit that notification bell so that every other time it is posted. Yeah, it's a matter of coming up.